put an advert in the Birmingham Mail and asked if they if they included for an Austin 7 Nippy Sports or similar car. And this little Austin 7 Opal was the only car that was offered to me. It belonged to a greengrocer in Erdington and it was pretty well in immaculate condition. And I decided to purchase it. The price was £140. And uh, I duly collected it and the first time out in it I drove it up Sutton New Road and in those days the trams were running and uh, the first thing I did was got the damn thing stuck in the tram lines which uh, was most difficult with these narrow little wheels to get it out and then uh, I had it for two years and I drove it with my foot on the floorboards most of the time as, as most young lads do and I blew the engine up and my father got a bit fed up of having to finance me to put it right over the years I've had many Austin 7s, in fact I've got another one which I've had 42 years and this uh, car I've always wanted back again and uh, I've been looking for it for about 10 years and I put an advert in various magazines, various club magazines and came to the conclusion that it, it had been lost forever and gone to the scrapyard in 2011 I went to the classic car show and looked at everything, all the good stuff round and it was uh, a very tired and I th we were just coming away and there was a little stand up the corner which was available Austin's and this car was in dreadful condition and it was on their stand uh, covered in teddy bears, toy teddy bears and I looked at it and I said blow me that's my car and the pal that I went with uh, I decided that I've got to buy it again. I've restored it myself over a period of uh, 11 months which I felt that I'd got to do it rather quickly because of my age. I didn't know whether I was going to be fit enough to complete it but I have managed to do that and now I'm getting the pleasure out of it and that's roughly the story of it.